Hello, this is Blue Leader, and we're here in Laguna Hills, where they have a total of 16 superchargers. Thanks for hanging out with us. Let me give you my initial impressions of the supercharger and the surrounding area. Initial thoughts. First thought, you're in the side back part of the shopping center. So, you know, you are kind of uh, isolated from the rest of the shopping center just a little bit. You just have to walk about a few hundred meters away and then you're gonna be hitting your restaurants and your shops. Initial feelings, nothing outstanding. You're in Laguna Hills, but it doesn't feel like you're in Laguna Hills because you're in the back end of the shopping center. <laughs> so any mystique or allure like, oh, I'm gonna charge in Laguna Hills, uh, that might disappear once you get in the side, uh, <laughs> you're in the side chick supercharger part of the shopping center of this area. Anyways, initial concern Concerns. Not very concerned. This is a very well-to-do area, very affluent area, very safe area. So if you need to charge here, uh, you're not going to get messed with. Anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Please continue to support the channel by hitting the like and the subscribe. And if you know anyone that wants to hang with us, make sure you share the content over with them. Thanks a whole lot and hang tight for the guest review. It just felt um, empty. Um, we decided to stay in the car. Usually, I like to go outside with her and you know just eat. And we are hungry, so at first we thought about eating while the car is getting charged. But we decided we'll wait until after charging because there's there aren't that many options. Only one, I think. I think it was hamburger place, wasn't it? It was just at the hamburger place. Very good. Now, if there was no supercharger here in this parking lot. Would you still come back to this parking lot? Um, yeah, because then we just stay in the car. Uh, unless we're really hungry, then we'll find a different place. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Now, do you drive your Tesla a lot? Uh, yes. What's the furthest road trip you've taken in your Tesla Model 3? Legoland, San Diego. Oh, Legoland, not too far away from here. Did you have to supercharge between the OC and San Diego? Oh, no. How long did it take you to get from Orange County to Legoland in Carlsbad, San Diego? Unfortunately, traffic was bad yesterday, so it was almost an hour and a half. But usually it should take no more than 15 minutes. How was the ride? Good. It was fun because we're with friends, right? Um, and Tesla is a very comfortable car. It's a fun car to drive in, so we still had a good time even though we're stuck in traffic. Now, do you plan on keeping your Tesla for a long time? Yes, I do love my Tesla. Oh, you do too? Yeah, okay, I guess she does. Now, since you're planning on keeping your Tesla for a long time, if you had to replace the battery, would you spend the money to replace the battery? Yes. How much would you be willing to spend to replace the battery? Um, I guess 2000 Hopefully no more than that. <laughs> I hope it's no more than 2000 either. I hope it's no more than 2000 Before we take off, thank you so much for your time. Do you have any final words of wisdom for the people out there? I mean, I do recommend Tesla. Um, it's been a very nice, smooth, safe, uh, and fun car. And plenty of charging areas in Orange County, so that helps a lot. Thank you so much for your time, guys. We'll see you later, okay? Bye. I'm wondering if your Tesla Model 3 had a refrigerator in it, what would be the first thing you put in it? Ice cream. Ice cream? What flavor ice cream? Strawberry. Strawberries. That's a great flavor.